Number one, you can make decisions quickly as a group if the key people have had some key conversations one-on-one -on -one outside the group first. That's what I call okay. shuttle diplomacy, where somebody who mm -hmm. owns something, a decision, say, oh. and wants to, wants to drive that decision and get alignment on that decision through the rest of the team, spends a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time, maybe only 20 minutes, maybe 10 minutes in the hallway or at the coffee machine uh, or on a video like this oh. with the key people who they know will have a strong opinion. Coming to a, a oh. mutual understanding and using the constructs that we talked about, like, here's what I'm thinking, but I want to understand your point of view. And now I'm going to shut up and let you talk. And I'm going to give you some airtime and I'm going to say, okay, I hear you. And I'm going to repeat back to you what you, what you said in my own words and ask you, did I get that right? No, I really like that approach. It's the idea. I like the, I like the concept of shuttle diplomacy as well. That's, that's nice because it gives you, you're, you're almost looking ahead for where the problems are going to be or where the challenges may be with certain individuals because you know their point of view is right. going to be different or right. you're going to need some time with them or they're going to need extra time with you. And you just, you, you offset that really by spending, again, investing some time in doing that. And it, again, executives busy, hard to get time on the calendar, but um, you could have, especially with a little bit of re repetition and practice, you could have that quick pre-alignment shuttle diplomacy conversation in 15 minutes. That's a really great idea. 